Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sumit and I am here with my new video in Salesforce integration. So recently I come across with a requirement and the requirement was the company, they would like to migrate their data from Salesforce to AWS buckets. And uh, so there were two, uh, there were two requirements. Uh, so they would like to migrate the data from uh, Salesforce to AWS bucket by using uh, programming or, and also they are looking for a solution so that we can perform the migration without writing any program, without writing any script. So we, uh, so we have done that success successfully. So I decided that why not to share the same learning with you, same work we have done for the company. So let, so I decided that uh, to share the same knowledge with you also. You never know that that might, uh, it might be helpful for you in future or in your, if you come across this uh, some requirement or such kind of requirement in your, uh, in your day-to-day -day activities. So there you can use this. So this is the first way of migrating the data from Salesforce to AWS bucket without coding. So in today's session, I will be going to show you how do we do that. And for this, we are not going to write any script without writing any single line of code. We will be going to migrate this data. Now, in order to do this, we required a couple of things. And what are what all information, what all other requirements are. So the very first requirement is that we should have a Salesforce developers account. And as you can see, this is my Salesforce developers account. Or Salesforce account, you should, we need to sign up for a Salesforce account. And this is my Salesforce account, which I will be using for my day-to-day -day activity. And, uh, and also we required a AWS account because the requirement is to uh, bring the data or to, uh, to add the records or to save the data from, or move the data from Salesforce to AWS bucket. So therefore what we need to do, we need to get an AWS account and in order to do that, we can, uh, like uh, in my case, I've already got an AWS account. So what you can do, how you can create an AWS account is very easy. You have to simply visit AWS website and you can sign up for a free account. So when you, create, when you sign up for a free account, when you click on a free account button, it will take you to the wizard. You have to complete the wizard. Just provide your details and your credit card details. It will ask you for the credit card details. And don't worry, those credit card details will be required only for verification purpose. They might charge you uh, uh, maybe one or two rupees. Like, like in my case, I got uh, uh, it, it charged me two rupees, but that amount will revert back out in, after a few days. So that is just for verification that we will be the correct person and we can use this account for long duration. So in my case, I have already got an AWS uh, free tier account. And uh, let me show you uh, how, how does it looks like when I log in into that. So I click on sign in and I'm going to sign in in my Salesforce account. Sorry, so I'm going to sign in my AWS account and I need to provide my credentials here. And my credentials will be, this is my credential. So I'll just provide my username next and I need to add my password here. So I need to provide my password and let me provide my password. So here is my password. Uh, yeah, so I successfully logged in into my AWS account and you can see this is my AWS interface. Now in this AWS interface, uh, the services you are looking for, when you click on services, you can get a list of all the services or if you are looking for any specific service, for example, we would like to create a bucket because our objective is to bring the data from Salesforce or move the data from Salesforce to bucket. Uh, so therefore what we'll do in search, I just search for S3. When I type S3, I'm getting an option called S3 scalable storage in cloud and I can directly go to buckets. When I click on buckets, it will take you, it will take me to the bucket section. And here you can see, uh, okay, right now there's a bucket. Let me delete this. I'm going to create a new one. So we have to empty this bucket and then only I'm going to do this. Or let's do one thing, let's leave it. Let's not delete it. We'll set up a new bucket. 
So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a new bucket here. So in order to do this, we can create a bucket. So AWS three, and I'm going to create a new bucket here. So I say create bucket. And uh, I just label this as AI tech one. SF AI tech one SF DC bucket. And uh, ownership. Scroll down. I'm not making any change into this. And I simply click on create bucket. So a bucket gets create uh, a bucket get created. You can see I successfully created a bucket for me. If this successfully created a bucket, and uh, now what are we going to do? We will be going to uh, upload the uh, upload the data from Salesforce into this AI Tech One SFDC bucket. And for this, we will be going to use App Flow, which is already available with AWS. That's an inbuilt functionality of AWS. So how do we get that? We can uh, like. We can do here. We, either we can go to services, or else uh, I just write AWS App Flow. And when we say AWS App Flow, so you can see it redirects me to AWS App Flow. So AWS App Flow. Here it is. So AWS App Flow, as you can see, it automate the data flow between software as a service and AWS services. So basically, this App Flow will be used by the Amazon Web Service to migrate the data from the uh, the SaaS services in onto Amazon Web Services. So let me uh, uh, let me sign in to console. I just click on sign in into console, and uh, it will automatically use the same uh, same details which uh, which I used to sign in into my AWS bucket. So here is my console, and here's an option called Amazon App Flow, or we can search here also App Flow, Amazon App Flow. I click on Amazon App Flow. And as you can see, this Amazon App Flow. When I type here again, if I search again very quickly, I just search for App Flow. So as you can see, uh, Amazon App Flow integrates app and automate data flows without code, without writing any code. So I click on Amazon App Flow, and here we are going to create a flow. So let me create a first flow. I'm going to create a flow here. Click on Create Flow, and uh, if you want to see some information about this, you can look into this. So Amazon App Flow is a fully managed integration service that lets you securely transfer data between software as a service application and AWS services. And how does it works? It gives more information about it, and uh, the connectors are there, so we can use the connector. There are almost 81 connectors, which helps to migrate the data. So I click on Create Flow, and when we create flow, here we have to specify a flow name. So I'm going to give a flow name. So I just write here SFDC to AWS flow. That's the flow name. You can add a description if you want. I can just uh, give a description here. I'll just write flow to migrate data from Salesforce to AWS bucket. Click on next. Here we have to choose the data source. So how do we choose the data source? In order to choose the data source, in order to choose the data source, what we'll do, we click here, and I'm going to choose that. See, there are uh, many data sources. I just want to bring the data from Salesforce. So I just type in Salesforce, and I'm getting an option here. Click on Salesforce. Uh, create a new connection. So I'm going to create a new connection here. So click on Create Connection. Specify connection name, so SFDC to AWS connection. Authorization code, we would like to connect to sandbox environment or production environment. And I click on connect. And when we click on connect, we have to provide the Salesforce credential. But in this case, because I have already logged in into Salesforce, so it might not ask. You can say it did not ask me to any credential because I have already logged in into my Salesforce. And let's quickly go and check. Is it connecting to the same Salesforce org? Because when we click on connect, it's uh, it, it says, do you want to allow access for this org? So let me quickly go and check. Is it the same Salesforce account? You uh, is it, like will they be using the same Salesforce account? Let me go and check. So I click on users. And same Salesforce account, this will be used. So it will be using the same Salesforce account. I click allow. 
And once I click allow, the connection will get established and then we can proceed further. Uh, connector already exists. Actually, the name which I gave here, that connection name already exists. So let me give next. Okay, create a new connection and I'll give this name as AW, uh, let's say AI Tech 1, AI Tech 1 AWS. Because as you can see here, I can use an existing connection which I've already created previously. So either we can do that, but I'm going for a new one. I just write AWS 2 SFDC connection and connect. Allow. And you can see the connection staff successfully created. Now we have to select the object name. So I just want to bring the data from account object. So here I type account object, select account. So data transfer and destination name will be using bucket. So I just write here S3 bucket. So I just want to move the data into S3 bucket, Amazon S3 bucket. So I select Amazon S3 and uh, choose the S3 bucket. So this is a bucket I, where I just want to move my data, AI Tech 1 SFDC bucket. That's a URL for that. Now run on demand or run, uh, we would like to schedule this. So I just want to demand, like we just wanted to manually execute this or else we have an option, we can run flow on schedule. We can, we can schedule this, but I just want to run on demand. Click on next. Step number three, we have to map these fields. So either we click here and say map all fields directly or else I just want to move the specific fields. So I just wanted to move, let's say account ID, account name, account type, and a few of the fields I'm just trying to move here. Let's say account phone, account number, and annual revenue, okay? Now also uh, we just add the fields. These are the fields, four, four more fields here. If we want to add any policy, this is a mapping we are doing here. So these are the fields, map field directly. So as you can see, these are the fields mapped, uh, mapped directly here. We can add a condition, like we can put a validation to your data. What action is invalid data is found. So if you want to take certain actions, certain actions, like for example, I just want to add a validation rule that if any account type does not exist, it will not bring that data over there. So as you can see here, we have this account, this account, it does not contain any account type. So I can put a validation here that if the account type is values are missing or null, then what happened? Ignore those records. So I simply say ignore records and add the validation. So this validation will be associated, this validation get added here now. So what we did here, we simply add a validation that if the field is missing, if the value is missing in that account type, it's not, it will not be going, to, it will not bring that data or that record into sales, uh, into AWS bucket. Click next and okay, only one and click on next. We can add a filters to your data, uh, transfer only dot meet the filter criteria. So either we can do there or we can add a filter here also like this field. So condition, but I'm not adding a filter right now and click next. So this is review and create. Uh, we can quickly review that configure flow, destination, flow trigger, map, and then validation. And finally, I scroll down and click on create flow. So this will quickly, this will quickly create a flow for us. And once a flow gets created, what we can do, we can run this flow right now. So uh, very quickly go and check AI Tech 1 SFDS, uh, SFDC bucket. If I open this bucket, you can see this, uh, this bucket is empty right now. We have no information into this. But as soon as I run this flow, the flow will run. As you can see, running SFDC to AWS flow flow run start time and execution is going on. We can cancel this flow at runtime right now. So let's wait for a few minutes. It will take some time and all, uh, right now we have 32 items, but as for the condition, uh, how many records which does not contain any type. So let's check it out. There it is. Out of 32, we have one, two, three, almost, uh, almost 12 records will be there whose type does not exist. So that means it should upload only 20 items, 20 records. 
let's check it out. So the flow completed successfully and duration time and record process 32. Let's go and check how many records get updated. Uh, does it meet the criteria or not? We can just quickly check it out here. Schema. <laughs> mapping and all done. And let's, let, uh, when I refresh my bucket here, you can see there is SFDC to AWS flow folder. And when I open this flow, there is one file. Now, how can we see this file? So I click on this file. We open this file and we can download this file. Actually, this file contains the information. So I select this file and I'm going to download this. So I click on download here. And when I click on download, so it will download a file. So let's download this file. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to download this file on my desktop. And once this file get downloaded, let me open this file. And I'm going to open this file in Notepad++. And when I open this file, you can see only 20 records, uh, 20 records will be shown here. Reason, why only 20 records? Because we have put a condition here that it will export only those records whose uh, type exists. If any record whose type does not exist, or all those records with the empty type will not, will ignore those records. And that's what's happening here, only 20 records are exported. So like this way, we can successfully migrate the data from Salesforce to AWS bucket without writing a single line of code. So that's all in this video. If you like this, don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. You can reach out to us if you have any customized requirement on training. If you have training requirement on Salesforce or some support, you can reach out to us. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.